Okay, so we walked over the worst for you stages, but we walked the 3DS for it. The 3DS doesn't have really that many bad stages compared to the Wii U version due to it having less stages. And I actually had a power of picking the 10th worst stage. As it was a tie at, it was either be Jungle Japes, Dreamland, or Gerudo Valley. Number 12 is Dreamland. Dreamland is just another scrolling stage, but it's a knockback to an old game. Jungle Japes, it's a classic stage, and that's why it's a double weapon. Number 10 is Gerudo Valley. Okay, why is the Rudo Valley a bad state? First of all, is the bridge. The bridge can be broken really easily, and you can basically break the bridge, and it'll be spikes down. But then the worst part is when those witches come. The witches will basically make half of the stage unplayable, and that's very annoying. You can't make a stage like this. Okay, that's not that's just not a good stage to play at. The Wizards don't go come that often, but they're really, really, really annoying and ruin the stage. Number 9. Number 9 has got to be Flat Zone 2. Flat Zone 2 was in Smash 4 and Smash 4, but for the, it's not here for the same reason. This is the OK stage that represents Game & Watch, but the stage is really annoying, as some parts of the stages you can get knocked out really easily. The part, the jungle part, and the building part, and the stage is just a bunch of whole stage hazards. But it's a knockback to an old game, so that's why I give the stage more of a pass because it's a really cool looking stage, and and it makes sense if you hit the girl and the guy because you out hate him, so they're basically just the of themselves anyways. Number eight. Number 8 is Mushroom Wii Kingdom. Yes, that really crappy Mario stage from Brawl. Okay, so remember Mushroom Wii Kingdom for Brawl? Of all the stages they decided to bring back for the 3DS version, they had to bring back Mushroom Wii Kingdom. But what was part about the stage, and they didn't even bring back the second part of the stage that usually happens, so it's really only the first part. Really, Nintendo, why could we break back the second part? And all the problems with Brawl and the Brawl and Brawl still remain. The stage goes way, way too fast for a stage. The stage does seem to go a bit slower than the Brawl version, but it's still very hard to play on and they have to be constantly moving as of this next stage. Number 7. Number 7 is the next Mario stage. It seems that Mario has so many stages in this game. Next stage is 3D Land. Three D Land is another stage. It's basically Muscle Week Kingdom, but there's a platform part at the end. And Muscle and this stage is basically like Muscle Week Kingdom. You ha but it scrolls a bit faster so it's harder to play on the stage than Muscle Week Kingdom. The stage scrolls very really fast and it's just really annoying because it's very hard to play on the stage as a whole. And that's basically it. The stage is very, very hard to play on. The platform start, part isn't fun, which is coming pretty soon. And the platform part, you basically, it is no, like, no ordinary platform. You have to survive on like, these four small platforms that get broken over time. And there's this really fast part that goes through a pipe. This stage isn't fun. It isn't. Number six. Six is Magic Cat. Why is Magic Cat a bad stage? Because of the Flying Man. Really? The Flying Man is basically an extra assist trophy. Like they call this easy made or just an assist trophy, but no. You actually have to fight him alongside the player who, ha who has him on your side. So it basically means you get an extra character fighting for you. And that basically makes the stage unfair as the first guy to get him on your side will basically, win will basically have a higher chance of winning 
as because we did. Then there's also the stump that comes out that's annoying too. But it's not as bad as the flying man which rules the entire stage because the flying man will basically go after you and kill you with like a bunch of instant KOs. If you don't fight him, you ha he'll basically keep it to you while doing that. So, number five. Number five will be going to Mute City. The stage in Mayway was good. But this version is just awful. First of all, it's one of those stages where if you get hit by the ground, it's basically that one part of Mute City. And there was one part, the worst part about El Porta is basically one of those stages where you touch the ground, you get hit instantly. It's basically Big Blue, but it's 2D. This stage is basically all the problems of Big Blue, but instead of, yeah, instead of just falling off and dying instantly, you get hurt every single time. So you have to stay on the cow or else you get damaged and get hurt. And it's just really annoying how the stage is like this. And then it gets worse because it does like 20 damage every time you land on the ground, so... Just don't pull, just give Captain... You could have just put a port out arrow drive even though that, that's not that good of a stage either. But you just, just gave us mutiny from Mayway. Number 4. Number 4 is with Sep Bomb Forced. Remember Castle Seeds for Brawl? Well, the terror side to make... A Kinecuous version of Castle Seeds. Um, but it's the crappier version of Castle Seeds. Once you get, once it changes, the stage changes forms, it's very hard to survive on the stage. Like, very hard. You have to survive on these dislocated platforms that are all over the place. This figure come and can do a lot of damage to you. The first part of the stage. If this was the first part of the stage, this would have been no problem. This would have been a decent stage. But the stage flip ruins the entire stage. Um, I got uh, parts of it until it's told to do the stage flip. Okay, so the stage flip is going to occur now. It's basically what Castle Seeds basically is. We go to the second floor. But then we have this mess. This is supposed to just scroll in fan forms. And it this thing will come sometimes. Just don't play on the stage. It's just awful. They said they could have just kept it the first part and everybody would have been happy. But no. They had to add the second crappy part. But Castle Steeds was a way better stage than this. Because at least you could at least play on it. This is a support of platforms in the middle of the world. Number three. Number three is Why We Castle. I'm not going to talk much about the stage because all of the problems with this stage stays exactly the same as if you play this game stays on the Wii U version. Basically, the Yellow Devil rules the stage. Number two. Number two. Find me. Oh, this stage is horrible. This is a another boss stage, really? This is basically the final battle of Find Me, but it gets bad with the dark with the monster appears, and you have to fight it. And, and also, the monster affects the stage and gives one player special effects. It was cool in the Wirewell stage, but the monster, the strategy gives you upgrades and gives that player an advantage, and you also have to fight it as well. Like, the stage is just awful. It could have been just a background effect. But the fact that you have to fight the monster as well. It just makes the stage horrible. Like he could just go up in a background guy. And just gave you magic. As a guy to fight. But no. He comes and fights. And you have to fight him. Overall. Never play on the stage. It's bad. Number one. Okay before we get to number one. Let's talk about some more bad stages. A few desirable methods. As I mentioned before, stages like Horror Gliad are Dream Brad and Card Jungle Japes. And then the stage that almost made the list, another stage that almost made the list is Balloon Fight. The reason why I like this stage, I don't really hate the stage. Like at number 10, I was probably told because 
Voodoo Folly isn't that bad of a stage outside of the witches, so and they were flat so too. But the first stage is the worst. Today we'll be talking about Rivid Room. Rivid Room If you met I mean the Coliseum stage is oh the Arena Phalanx is an okay, it's a good stage because but the platforms this stage, oh, but this stage might sound innocent, but this stage is just awful. The thing is, the platforms that Rattle Beats are come down. If you're not prepared for these platforms, you can get you can get knocked out really easily. And assuming the fight, assuming we racked up only like any damage already before these platforms came, they will fall on you and they will do a lot of damage. It impedes on the fighting ability. These platforms also are obstacles and fighting, which make the stage harder to play on, and some of the platform layouts make the stage harder to play on because of this. And also, if you're, if you're too bad well, busy fighting and not worried about the platforms falling down, you'll end in a gruesome defeat by the platforms. The platforms disappear over time, but they'll just keep on coming and coming, if you're not prepared for these platforms, like, they'll come, but if you're not prepared, prepare to face your wrath. But why is this worse than find me? It's because of the platforms. They ruin otherwise what would be a decent stage, just to look at puppies in the background, but the platforms that disappear randomly, where it could, co- where it could go for some easy KOs, Really ruined the stage. Overall, Rivet Room is the worst mass murders for 3DS stages. None of the DLC stages were included because none of them are really bad. 